Hello, everybody, and welcome to Dragon Ball Z League Season 2022, Week 5 of the main season. I am your host, DeWigard, with my honorable co-host, J-Man. Hello, everybody. Are you ready? We have another Divisional Week. Almost like that's going to be like every week till the final week. <laughs> I am ready. Let's go. And it's uh, starting off with a bang, but before that, I think we got Divisions. Yeah, so... Uh... West Kai is the one for this week. We'll get there. Starting in at North Kai, we have Muscle at 2 and 2, and then Earth Defenders, Bujins, and Resurrected Warriors all down at 1 and 3. Followed by East Kai, where Cold is undefeated at 4 and 0, oh, followed by Royals and Namek at 3 and 1, and trailing behind is GT still looking for their first win at 0 oh and 4. Moving on to West Kai, we have Hybrids at 3 and 1, Rugrats at 2 and 2, Budokai at 1 and 3, and Derp at 1 and 3. This is the divisional Kai for the week, so all of their wins are immense for this week on who will go up. I actually think it's Hybrids, Rugrats, and Budokai Derp, which is pretty important since it's the top two and the bottom two that are going to start creating some splits here. And finally, in South Kai, we have Kaiju and Cinema tied at the top at 3 and 1 with Androids and Sentai at 2 and 2. So, a lot going on. For those that don't know, uh, when you get a win against someone in your divisional, it's kind of like in soccer or football as the home goal advantage, where it's like worth slightly more. So if you're tied, let's say both two teams end the season at like 10 and 5, the one that beat the other in divisional will go through. That's like the tiebreaker thing. So very important, very, very important. Uh, it's where we tend to see most of the boosts used during the season. And I can tell you there's been quite a lot used today. Jamin, you'll have a lot of Taurus to read in a few of these matches. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking at the builds right now. It's quite fun. But starting us off, uh, the first and last match of this week will be Divisional. And the first one, we have Budokai uh, up against Derp. These are the air quote bottom two of West Kai, both at one and three, looking to use this win to jumpstart their playoff season. Though we're so early that even with this win, it doesn't necessarily mean the same thing. Yeah, I mean, we'll have to see, but you know, you can never go wrong with winning a divisional, so <laughs> they both really want this, and you can tell that in their builds. Yeah, and one and three, going two and three for the first five weeks will not be a bad thing as well. So let us get loading into our first match. As we can see, uh, first interesting change, Kid Goku brought up the free agent bench for Budokai. Yeah. One of the uh, Zeni boosts that they did was the FA swap, bringing in Kid Goku, who is rocking attack plus two defense minus one, fighting spirit, quick fast attack, eternal life, and a serious boost on Trunks AI. He also has a Broly's ring. Uh, and he's going up against Supreme Kai with defense plus two, a defense plus one boost, lane energy, Dende's healing, power of rage, and cell AI. So uh, we got a hyper offense in Kid Goku versus a hyper defense in Supreme Kai. Yeah, but that's how Gil Kid Goku was last season, and that's how Supreme Kai's been pretty much every season. It's very defense focused, so it will be interesting. Um, but yeah, it's, it's a big note that this is the first time we've seen Kid Goku. I don't even remember if he's in much of preseason, so he's been kind of, uh, you know, gone for a while, so obviously here. Yeah, right in the bench a little bit, but he's back now. Unfortunately, not doing great at the start against Supreme Kai, but still plenty of time to make it up, or even tag if he wants to come back in later. Well, he does have two scaling Pataras, so going down is not the worst. He'll scale up. Uh, for those that are watching live, the poll already went live, so please vote on the team you think will win this match, and we will tell you guys the results when they get done. But, yes, yeah, Supreme Kai going to a lead, but you can see the combo here from Kiko, who he can certainly dish it back. No, absolutely. If Kid Goku can start getting some uh, momentum going, he will start piling on that damage. Yeah, I mean, both teams have all their heavy hitters in for this week for obvious reasons. Though, I think... Kirk and Karan Derp doesn't have their free agent in? I do not believe so, so... Uh, yes. Roshi comes. is on the bench for Derp. Oh, key broken! Oh, that's huge. Goku can really start getting some stuff going here, doing a nice 5k damage and charging up. He might be on the ground, but he can, yeah, he can knock him back up, get a false courage off, and, oh, Ooh. unlucky. 
What happened there? Uh, I think he just must have, like, rolled just out of the Kamehameha because it's such a small move, but after him strike, don't help now. Yeah, after him strike will last for a little bit longer. Um, Goku cannot hit him during this. Well, 30 seconds is a long time for him like this. You get a lot of dodges off it. It's why it's considered such a top-tier B1. The key minus is worth it, but... I don't think Kid Goku's health's changed out of this bar very much since he decided to start hitting back at Supreme Kai. No, that, yeah, once he started getting that momentum going, he really started to uh, change the the tone of this match. I mean, he needs to tag. He has no... Oh. There we go. Well, this was a rare match for Supreme Kai. He almost always transforms, but the after image and shockwave spam made it to where he had no blast stocks. Yeah, and uh, in comes Dodoria with Key Plus One and Nation Fighting Spirit Serious Latent Energy Boost, Dende Ceiling, Savior, and Yajirobe AI. He does have a natural she, as a hero slash on the music, has a uh, natural defense Whoa. boost. That was a nice little bit of damage for just a B2. It's key plus one, right? So that's just the yeah. that's just the savior boost. But don't forget, uh Kid oh. has a natural defense minus on top of he has attack plus two, right? Yes. So that's like a defense minus two, I believe. So he's just going to take first damage bad. Which is why he was a good matchup against Supreme Kai on a defense build. Yeah, and in comes Vegito, the former member of Derp last season. He was their FA, now Budokai's FA. Rock and attack plus one, serious Dende healing, quick fast oh. attack, lane energy, light body, and trunks. Ooh, good block. Well, it was a great tag, Dodoria going, I have two bars, I just took a big hit, and I have savior, so I can come back later. Uh, unfortunate that that didn't hit for uh, Hercule, or else it would have been, like, you know, an incredible tag, but Hercule, a very, very scary spammer. Uh, one of the few characters with no boost on Derp, I believe. Ooh, another block, almost key breaking him, and uh, yes, Hercule with Super Plus One, Indignation, Fighting Spirit, Power of Rage, Light Body Savior, and TN AI. Oh, there, here we Present go. Bomb. This is what's scary. Just a nice little 8k right off the bat. Yeah, eight and a half. Has nothing but the super plus one. Ooh, and this then is another be one. The same. Ouch, and Vegito has just taken massive damage with just two B2s. But it is Vegito. He just got the tension up off, so he's got more melee, more key. Uh, his B2s hit hard. And his melee hits very hard. As Derp yeah, you know. his, his melee and his funny enough rush blast should be doing a decent amount. This like, is gonna hurt. There we go. 7k for two bars. Nice, uh. Hercule staying in there. Attack. A surprise attack! A false, false courage. courage from Hercule. Will he use his max power? Yes, he does, and this should take out Vegito. Uh, yeah, I guess it will. I wasn't sure if late would be enough with how because he was so low but it, it was indeed enough oh we got a clash Ooh. right off the bat Are they right into a clash Rangers? um yes so that was just pure randomness i suppose uh cyborg tie with key plus one fighting spirit indignation power of rage launcher support and yadrobi ai and he really wants to hit that hidden blade but it is just not happening and hercule um has majorly turned around this match. It's a two-bar lead now for Dirt after going down like nearly a full character at the start. Yeah, especially with Dodoria tagging pretty early relatively with his health. Yeah, two bars is two bars though, and a good or a scary thing to note is Salza, the EL user, still in the back, and Hercule isn't even down yet. Yeah, no, and Hercule uh, should just be getting uh, stronger with that indignation, so his present bombs will be doing even more damage. Yep, so the poll has finished. We have Derp at 66% and Budokai at 33, so uh, people are definitely expecting Derp to get the victory here. Ooh, Man, and he's another win. all the luck on these clashes, I'll tell you what. Yeah, I mean, clash wins are huge because it's just free damage and you have a potential to go into another thing and another early tag. Uh, I would not call that an early tag. He's on his last bar. Was he? I thought he had two bars left. No, I'm pretty sure he was on his lap. Well, either way, he tagged at below half health. So. Yes. Oh, he can do well, a tag anyway. after this. The tag game from Budokai could definitely bring it back. Yeah, yep, there we and go. There we go. 
Now 18 has someone that she can tag with and kind of abuse her own savior power. So yeah, these are uh, two uh, builds that are about the same as they normally run, though I think they both have maybe a Katara different than normal. Yeah, Souls is rocking attack plus one serious latent energy eternal life Piccolo AI against Android 18, Super Plus 2, He minus 1, Kavito Sugar Art, Savior, and Advantage and Tension up in Yandere the AI. Yeah, so normally 18 has power raid, but they decided to take it off, give her more stats, which mm -hmm. might be needed with how the match is going. Oh, this is gonna hit. What? Well, Jesus Christ, look at how much damage she's done to Salsa in just the first couple, uh, just minutes of this fight between the two. Yeah, she managed to, at the last second, use her savior on her infinity bullet and hit most of it. So she got the savior damage on coming in. Well, let's see. Salsa really needs to pick up the pace here. A health pushback is really good for Salsa. Yeah, but he is certainly struggling. He was very lucky to, to be able to recover in time to dodge that Sadistic 18, because that might have spelled doom for him. And there's an ult of his own, which is also dodge. Trading ult misses. Okay, wow, another tag for Budokai trying to stay in with the tag game, which is smart. Yeah, don't forget that uh, she has Kibito's Secret Art, so she'll heal up a lot faster and get her Blast Dogs back. She can heal anything up before Salsa takes out Cyborg. <laughs> Jesus. Well, that's where KSA is nice, that she will get that faster healing. Yeah. Like, one more dote on Ray. Give us one more before you go down. Alright. Well, nope. he did okay. <laughs> Stat-wise, maybe wasn't the best week, but I think he did a little over 30, so not the worst. 18 can still bring this back. It is 18, after all. Yes. I mean, she has about half health. Ooh, a sadistic 18 will not hit. Kind of a waste there, but she does have the Doria and Hercule in the back, and, so a lot this, of health. The scary thing is they're both savior users too, so when they come in, you have she has to take them out fast or stay away. Yeah, and she has full key here. She could probably finish him off with a B2. Yeah, either B2 now would take him out, the Death Saucer or the Infinity Bullet. Not doing either, instead trying to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with him, which he should win. He does have the attack boost. Uh, with I would say the melee advantage, because he has no boost. Yeah, Just sorry, I didn't be mean a little more clear, because there are a lot of boosts yeah. in this match. Alright, that'll take him out. Yeah, there we go. Well, it is still doable. She can max power... Oh, you're right, he did have two bars. I wasn't 100%. He was very close, though. Oh, that'll take and her out. Headbreaker. There it goes. It, even the ground damage, she was so low, there was basically no way to survive that. Yeah, if Budagai had started playing the tag game a little bit earlier, I think this might have been a different match, but God, Derp really, really did an outstanding job there, tagging with half health pretty much every character. I would give the MVP of that match to Hercule. Uh, he came in, destroyed Vegito, did work to Cyborg Tau, and got out. So. Obviously, Salsa, pretty close up there, but just basically removing Vegito from the match is an incredibly difficult thing to do, and he managed it. So, congratulations to Derp for getting the win over Budokai. However, uh, neither team's out of it yet, though it is certainly a little harder for Budokai. But their, their standings are at least a little closer than some others. Yeah, definitely can make this up. Losing the Divisional is not the end, uh, but certainly an advantage. Well, moving on to our second match, we have Bujins versus Sentai, um, obviously a non-divisional, but Sentai need to get every win they can to try to bump to the top of their division, whereas Bujins are looking to try to make a small comeback from their recent string of losses. So both teams have a lot to fight for, and uh, it's going to be a pretty intense one, I would assume. Yeah, I I would think so. Bujins are in North Kai, yeah? Yes, we have North Kai versus South Kai. However, uh, Sentai has looked a lot better since gaining Jiren, and obviously since getting their... Um, they also got a strong free agent as well in General Tao. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, yeah, Bu uh, Bujins are starting off with Evil Boo with defense plus two, Dende's healing, latent energy, fighting spirit, light body, and Trunks AI against Saiyaman's attack plus two, defense minus one, serious... Quick fast attack, power of rage, Dende's healing, a rising fighting spirit boost, and Piccolo AI. So similar to last match, we have an all-out attacker versus pretty much an all-out defenser. 
Defensor, defender. I think that's better way to say Ooh, didn't it. Didn't get key broken. Unlucky for Sam, man. Um, does Sam even have a clash boost? Yes, uh, Power of Rage. So he just straight up lost to Evil Boo on that first clash. That's just unlucky, but... The welcome to RNG. We've seen characters with no clash boosts beat Dragon Power before. And Dragon Power is like the biggest clash boost you can get, so... It's, it's not a guarantee, and you can see it here. Uh, the vote has, or the poll has gone up for those watching live, as before. And, yeah, so getting it started. g -Ren is benched this week for Sentai. Uh, so, you know, I guess probably one of their heavier hitters is out, which is, I guess, somewhat good news for Bujin. Yeah, but on the same side, Bujin's have Buhan out, and while he's not had a great season, he was, like, their top character last season. So, right. both lo both are down, per se, one of their stronger members when it comes to, like, their potential. Mm -hmm. Jiren is a little bit more of a wild card, because it's obviously first season. So, uh, not exactly a lot of weeks to go back and look at stats and builds for, because he hasn't been in for a lot of weeks. Wow, and it seems like uh, Saiyaman's attack boost are starting to eat through that defense. Uh... Evil Boo really needs to tag here. Uh, I don't see him doing much else, unless he does like some sort of B2 right before he tags. That could be nice. Yeah, I mean, he Sam can go for an early tag as well, but looks like he will nope. take out Evil Boo here with this uh, Justice Slash. And that will bring in, oh wow, he tried to tag right before going down. Yeah, in comes, it looks like Spopovich with attack plus two defense minus one power of rage, serious latent energy, launch support, and Majin Buu AI, so. Should be quite a slugfest here between the two uh, meleeers. Yes, Bovovich has got a lot to do. He needs to take out Sandman and do some work on the next member. But right now, Sandman just showing that uh, he's hit kind of a, a second win this season after having a very tough 2021. Justice Slash, ooh, gets dodged. Yeah, kind of surprising. You'd think the Key Blast would have set it up. Yeah, no, I totally thought that that was going to connect into a nice little combo, but... No, uh, in, in return, Sandman kicks <laughs> the Mad Banquet way back. Yeah, just look at the uh, damage that Spokovich is hitting out. He is actually, funny enough, Evil Boo is the lowest melee damage character on the region. Spokovich is actually higher, you know, discounting Bobbity, who's the lowest in the game. Right. So do you mean, like, stats-wise, or just... Yeah, like, if you were to look at their punches, uh, yeah. Spokovich is either 290 or 300 base, where Evil Boost is 280, so... Interesting. He's well, definitely... he does have all those muscles for a reason, I guess. Ooh, he's just gonna key break him, but he only has one passive key bar. What will General Tao do? General Tao is rocking key plus one indignation, savior, dende healing, power of rage, and chiaotsu AI. Doesn't do too much. But definitely some damage. Yeah, straight back up to max power. Not not a bad use, to be honest. He hit a full combo, he attempted a B2, and he charged back up. Uh, though some of that's due to Spokovich not doing much, but look at this melee combo. Yeah. Jesus. Spobovich, when he, if he decides to get the ball oh, rolling on his melee... He's stuck in a melee yeah. attack. Yeah. Well, I think this will do it for Spopovich, but he... He started to bring it back, and Majin Buu and Kid Buu are the ones in the back for Bujin, so can certainly do it, though. The ones behind General Tao are Burder and Jace, the dynamic duo. Yeah. So it's definitely is still uh, a bunch of power on each team. Majin Buu with Key Plus 2, Super Minus 1, Savior, Light Body, Eternal Life, and Yajirobe AI hitting his explosion for a nice 13k. Yeah. I mean, he can literally take out General Tao without losing health right now, which would be... Great for Bujins. Oh, he oh. locks on and tags. That was a quick tag in a flame shower breath. Does a nice little bit of damage. Yeah, I think we have both the EL users now in. Oh my god, I thought he was done for. I thought he was running into the wall and he was not getting out of that. Birder yeah. with attack plus one, serious quick fast attack, eternal life, and trunks. Yeah. Hey, uh. So this will be hard. Most characters struggle against the fast attacks of Birder. So the question is, uh, will Majin Buu be able to create some space to get his spam in there? Because, uh, yeah, Birder looking to be a major threat since getting that buff pre-2021 to give him, you know, neutral defense and better key charge, and obviously always having this melee. Yeah, Birder, I interesting characters, definitely has ups and downs as the seasons go on. Uh, this is definitely one of the seasons where I think people were the most excited to see him.
uh, come out. Yeah, he's been a lot more on the up this season. Ooh, nice stand up into that. And he does. Nice connection there from Herder. So the votes or are in. a decent amount. We have Sentai Squad at 57 and Bujins at 42. So people are expecting Bujins to still be on their slump. And, uh, I mean, Sentai is winning at this current moment. It is still a comeback for Bujins. But the two characters they have in are two very strong characters. So we'll see. Oh, and another Space Mock misses. Yeah, unlucky. I don't believe Space Mock has tracking. I think it is a straight line rush B2, so kind of hard for him to hit. But that's one that got tracked. Yeah, his full power energy ball. We don't see that as much as the Space Mock attack, question mark. I think it's the better of the two, but... Well, Space Mock is too caught, so yeah. just more efficient. And Majin Buu needs to tag here to give Bujins a better chance. Apparently, he is just getting absolutely, you know, plastered by Birder's melee, which is unsurprising. Again, really fast melee, and that'll help. Oh, and that should be it. Tried well, to go for the stretchy grab. Two will have far. to go near Elite to uh, bring this match back. Starting with a clash win would be a good way, but Birder not calming down yet. He's on fire after taking down Majin Buu. Kid Buu with Super Plus One, Savior, Indignation, Fighting Spirit, Quick Fast Attack, Launch Report, and TN AI. Would love to see a planet burst here, but uh, he's running out of his max power mode. Yeah, had an opportunity right there, but just got stuck in Birder's combo for most of his max power mode. Good job by Birder, and he is having an excellent week. Dodges the Majin Kamehameha. And Kid Buu's already down to half health. Birder, yeah, he is on a roll today. I, I don't know what they did to him, but he just decided to turn it on. I Most characters just struggle against his just... Like I said, the melee. Like when you're trying to get into a melee fight with them, it can be very difficult. And that's just both spammers on the Bujins have decided they want to out melee the fastest melee in the game and are unfortunately going to go down to that. So, Birder with a 90k performance, 80k performance, will seal it with Jace not even hitting the field. And for the third week in the row, Bujins lost in a basically a 2v4. So a tough season for Bujins in North Kai, but an excellent win for Sentai to keep their uh, playoff hopes, you know, maybe even getting the bye. That's still very doable for them. Absolutely. I mean, starting off the season, I believe they're at three and two now. I think that's one of the best season starts for uh, Sentai or Ginyu Force that we've ever seen. I could be wrong, but it's, it's looking good. Yeah, well, that will do it for episode one of the 2022 season, week five. As always, check down in the description below for links to the Discord, the website, the TikTok, and the Twitter. Uh, always feel free to leave a comment for your favorite moment of one of the two matches today, and it might just appear as a short or a TikTok. So with that, I've been Dor. And I've been Jay. And we'll see you guys tomorrow.